What is going on, Roblox, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to talk about how to get every single huge pet in Pet Simulator 99 right now. And by the way, everybody, this is an updated version to get it as fast as possible. So stick around, everybody. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. And let's jump right into this. All right, so first things first, you bunch of rock stars. This one is kind of obvious, but when I say it, you guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, I guess that makes complete sense. All right, here we are, egg number 80. And you guys obviously know that you guys can get yourself a huge from this egg if you guys have a whole bunch of luck but here's one thing that a lot of people don't think about what pet sim 99 has been doing recently is they're doing three times luck 12 hours before the update six times luck three hours before the update and 12 times luck one hour before the update so those of you that don't have really huge luck books or anything like that if you guys log in on update day one hour before you're gonna have 12 times chances to get one of those bad boys granted it's pretty difficult but as long as you guys give yourself your best chances equip some luck books if you guys don't have the huge hunter uh book quite yet you guys can go buy one in the marketplace for about two million you definitely want to have one of those equipped and then you guys are going to definitely want to make sure you guys have luck books across the board and obviously you guys are going to want to make sure you pop a luck six potion which is 150 percent to give yourself the absolute highest chance to get one of those huges i mean honestly you guys can go ahead and hatch before the update releases but in my opinion if you guys just wait until update day and spend all of your stuff and wait for this particular time you guys will have the highest chance to get this kind of stuff but like i said everybody when updates come out on saturdays uh, the one thing i'd recommend trying to do is making sure you guys go grab this huge hunter book to get this book you want to go to your achievements scroll all the way down to this one right here you have to open 750,000 eggs and you will get one for free you guys could definitely go buy them in the marketplace if you want to, but you'll get one for free as long as you open 750,000 eggs. So, spend a couple days opening eggs so you guys can grab one of those, and then you guys can have the best chance you guys can, or equip a whole bunch of them in here to get yourself your first huge. Now, this next one, once again, is pretty obvious and pretty simple, but I'm going to explain it anyways. If you guys are serious about this game and haven't done it already, you guys should be making an alt account so you guys can grind two things at the exact same time. Give your alt a bunch of stuff, make sure you get it past Rebirth 2, so that way you're doubling or tripling or I don't know how many computers you guys got, but you know, you're, you're increasing your chance to get another huge or a whole bunch of other huges because you're grinding on a second account. So keep that in mind, everybody. I know a lot of people already know about that, but just for those that don't, make sure you guys do an alt account because trust me, it'll help you. And hey, I see you through the screen. I bet you're wondering what the third one is. Well, let me show you real quick. So check this out. This one's also pretty darn simple, but a lot of people don't even think about this. So check this out, everybody. Inside the little spinning wheel thing, you guys can get this huge propeller cat. Either golden, rainbow, I mean, I never ever see the rainbow one, but you guys can definitely get inside this. Now, as you guys can see, I don't see it on the spinning wheel right here. So, therefore, I'm not going to spin my spinning wheel tickets to get myself a huge propeller cat. So, to fix that problem, all you guys got to do is go into a training plaza. It doesn't matter which one. Ah, uh, now that I'm in here, I have to actually look at some good deals here. This guy's selling a hippo melon and a huge peppermint angelus for 100. What is it? Dude, there's something wrong with this guy. Not even this rainbow Santa Paws is worth 100 million. It makes sense this guy's only made 644,000 diamonds. No one's gonna buy that, bro. Hey, what is, what? Someone's selling this hippo melon for 12 million? Bro, what is wrong with this trading plaza? I'm out of here. Okay, I'm out. Sorry, I got distracted. Let's move on to the next part. All right, let's see what we got here. So, all right, there we go. Cool, we got a propeller cat. It's not obviously golden and rainbow because I never see those. But anyway, let's go ahead and try to spin for this guy right here. So, you guys can essentially make your chances 100% to see these cats inside the spinning wheel if you guys just go in between the trading plaza and back out. Because check it out. Now that if I wanted to spin again, I'd be going for a charm stone. And that's no no one wants to do that. Not a single person. Moving on to the next one. It's super far away. Just kidding. It's right here. So check it out. This chest. A lot of people overlook this. So if you guys didn't know this, you guys can get a huge wizard Westy. I know only 1,800 of these exist, but that's a heck of a lot more than some of the other huges that we're going to talk about later in this video. So let's go ahead and do this. And these only require keys. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have a bunch of keys in your inventory if you guys want to try for this. And the chances here are still pretty decent. I mean, in my opinion, I think the... Uh, the propeller cat's probably going to be your best bet at 0.1% chance. But as you guys already know, most of you have a bunch of these keys already in your inventory. And you don't even think about it. You just got to make them. I mean, I guess I have like four or five keys that I still haven't even made yet. So boom, bam, there we go. Cool. So I guess now I have 27 keys. I didn't realize that. So I could roll this 27 times and try to get myself a wizard westy, which is actually pretty good because you don't have to leave the trading plaza and come back. It's always in there. So there's a way to get yourself probably one of the best free-to-play huges in the game. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, as far as the propeller cat goes, so you need spinning wheel tickets to do this. What you guys don't realize is you guys actually get a spinning wheel ticket every single day just by logging in. So if you guys have an alt account or something like that, you guys can transfer tickets if you guys want, or you guys can just save them up and then go from there. Or you guys can go into the trading plaza and buy yourself some 
spinning wheel tickets, and they go for roughly between fifty dollars and $25,000 per ticket, so keep that in mind. <laughs> and also, we're going to talk about this one too, even though you guys should not be spending your time doing this, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So, if you guys have the VIP area unlocked, you guys can get to it from here, and everybody should know about this, but I'm going to explain something real quick. So, if you guys go over here and fall in this little crack right here, let's go ahead and do that. You guys can also get here by us. Get off my hoverboard. Get in there. Get in there. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is happening right now? Fall into the abyss. Uh, all right. Let's try a different method. <laughs> they must have patched this or something. All right. So let's go ahead and try the other way that I know how to get there. So let's go to the first obby here. Classic obby. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. You guys are going to just go this way. Fall off the cliff. Press the home button. There we go. That, that, does that work now? Wait, seriously? Wow. They must have patched it or something. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Achievements. Scroll down. Uh, there it is. Let's see. The huge angel. Yes, only two people have ever gotten the huge angel dog. Probably because it was so impossible, so maybe they just got rid of it. Anyway, you guys know all about the stairs, right? You basically just climb stairs and you guys get a huge angel dog. I was basically just going to say, um, you don't do that. It's a waste of your time because the, the drop rate on that is like nothing. You won't get one. Okay, moving on to the next one. For this, everybody, we're going to want to head over to the dig site. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Where are you at, dig site? Boom, there we are. All right, everybody, this is probably my favorite huge to try to get in the game because uh, it just looks super cool. And and plus, there's only 22 of them that exist. So if you guys get one of these, I need to know in the comment section because I'm trying to get one. Before we start this, everybody, you guys are definitely going to want to have a golden shovel. If you do not have one, you are definitely going to want to get one because it makes this process so much easier. You could definitely try without it, but it's just going to take you guys a lot more time. You guys can either buy a golden shovel from the training plaza or you guys can try to get one from one of the mini games in the game. Because uh, I think I got one from, I want to say I got it from the Pyramid Obby. Because I made that video about a week or so ago. But uh, let's see here. Hang on, hang on. There it is. Okay, so yeah, you can get a golden shovel or a golden watering can, which is a waste of your time. But... Um, yeah, anyway, try one of the obbies in the game. The, the chances are pretty low, but you guys could definitely get one from there. Or you can go buy it in the training plaza for roughly 400 to 500k, depending on who's selling it. All right, but anyway, essentially, here's how it's going to work. If you guys saw my video talking about this, I dug every single block in this dig site to try to get myself a fossil dragon. It, it, didn't, it didn't work. But if you guys want to get your best chances possible, I would recommend... Do not worry about this top block. Dig right past it and start getting your way towards the, uh, let's see. I mean, you guys can dig the, uh, the ice blocks if you guys want. In my opinion, everybody, you guys want to spend your time on these blocks right here. This is when it starts to increase your odds significantly. But you guys are basically just go in a circle. You guys can hold down the button. The fossil dragon chances only pop up when there's a chest available. Find these chests. The darker ones are going to be your best option. And you guys can probably get, I don't know, I think I was getting maybe 10 chests every couple of minutes. So your chances are pretty good. And the lower you guys get, the better your chances get too. So keep that in mind. Get a golden shovel. Come dig the crap out of this and see if you guys get yourself a fossil dragon. Because guess what? I will buy it from you. I like these kind of options because it even gives the free-to-play players a chance to get a huge and a chance to get one of the best huges in the entire game. Because if you guys were to get a fossil dragon, that would pretty much set your account up just by getting one huge that's worth so many gems because there's only 22 of them. So if you guys are lucky enough to get one, that, that'll set your account up for a while. All right. Let's move on to the next one. All right, everybody, we're coming up on probably my favorite option in this entire video, the chest rush. And like I said, if you guys have seen my videos in the past, this is probably the best option to get one of these huges, because check it out. The fire horse, there's a thousand of these that exist. So that's, uh, that's a heck of a lot more than that huge fossil dragon. Before you guys go in here, what I would recommend, you do not need any huges to complete this. You don't even need any exclusives to complete this. All you guys need to do is make sure you guys are just buying a relatively decent pet. I mean, honestly, you guys can complete this all the way back to the Night Beagle update. So you don't even need the best pets in this game to do this, but I'll do mine just for the sake that I have them. But as far as enchantment goes, guys, you really don't need strong. You don't need uh, lucky blocks. You don't need criticals or anything. We are just going to load up on Treasure Hunter books and make sure you guys pop a treasure potion before you guys go in here. But the pineapple is the one you guys want to eat. So if you got 20 of them, it increases your chance for drops by 20%. So we should have the most amount of chances to get ourselves a drop. Let's go ahead and jump into the chest rush. And on top of that, we are getting a whole bunch of presents. There we go. More presents. I love it. Perfect. And literally just sit here and let your pets grind the area and see if you guys can get yourself a fire horse. Because like I said, everybody, you do not have to have the best pets to smash this area. So the chest rush area probably has the highest potential to get yourself a huge and check this out if you guys look at this sign right here you guys actually have a chance to get a golden or a rainbow fire horse even though there's only one and five of them that exist but still all right let's go ahead and fast forward the video see if we can get ourselves a fire horse
And there we have it, folks. One of the best drop rates in the entire game and very free-to-play friendly. The only downside is it does take two hours to cool down. So if you guys want to try to grind this out, come back every two hours. Even free-to-play players will have a great time inside here in the highest chances. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so for this one, we're going to want to head over to Pirate Tavern, which is World 27. So let's go and head over there real quick. So boom, there we go. And this one is where you guys can get yourself the huge Poseidon Corgi. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This one is... Man, this one's really hard to get as well. Not that the Fossil Dragon's any easier to get, but I don't know what it is about this minigame, but it's, I just feel like it's taking me a lot longer to get stuff. So what you guys want to do, and once again, you guys will probably want to get yourself a Golden Rod to do this. You can complete it without the Golden Rod, but it's just a little bit easier and you guys have higher chances when you guys get it. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got some coins. That's uh, that's cool. Anyway, like I said, everybody, this is probably my least favorite one to do just because it does take quite a while to get something. And uh, like I said, your chances are pretty good, but you guys will be out here fishing for, for quite some time. So maybe I'll make a video one day where I just go here and fish until I get myself a Poseidon Corgi. But yeah, there's like less than five of these that exist in the entire game or something. And it just, just takes a long time and your chances just aren't that good. So let's go and move on to the next one. Now this next one here is actually pretty easy, but it does take a little bit of skill to master. So what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to head into the training plaza. And a lot of you guys, if you don't have a bunch of huges, you're going to go to a normal training plaza. And there's a lot of scammers in the training plaza plaza guys so just be super careful because I cannot stand those guys but essentially what you guys want to do is look in your inventory and find out what people actually want to purchase and I'm not talking about things like huges and whatnot like these ornaments or keys or fruits or even these TNT crates people will buy them for gems I promise and another tactic you guys can do is something like this for example so this guy's selling the huge hunter book for two million actually you know what I'm gonna buy one of those that's kind of what the going rate is on these guys right now anyway so I'm gonna buy one of these huge hunter books let's pretend this huge hunter book is something that you guys can afford right so if i was this exact person you guys can try doing it in the exact same plaza or go to a different plaza but essentially what i would do is i would open up this booth right here i would go to this huge hunter book that i just bought and instead of selling it for two million i would sell this thing for 2.1 million making myself a hundred thousand in profit this way is probably the most efficient way to get gems in this entire game but essentially everybody find out what that particular item is selling for and just look for that item and then buy it and resell it over and over again for example kind of like these types Titanic presents. I sell mine for roughly between 650 and 680. So if you can find them for 625, buy it and then flip it for 680. That way you guys are making 55,000 gems in profit. You guys can do that with all sorts of items in this game. You just got to be sure what you can buy them for and what you can actually sell them for if you guys are going to make a profit. And lastly, everybody, if you want to get a huge in Pet Sim 99, this is the easiest way to do it. Drop your Roblox username below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I will send you guys a huge in the mailbox. So you guys will receive it instantly. So if you guys don't have a huge in Pet Sim right now, that is the best way to do it. Drop your Roblox name, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys drop that like. I hope this video helped you guys out to go Go get some huges and also everybody keep an eye out for the next video because i'm going to be turning one of you guys in the comment section into a pet sim 99 master by making you guys rich so be ready for that one other than that everybody enjoy yourselves and i will see you guys in the next video